What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wonderman Easton, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Leverage. I have something to say actually today. <clears throat> Lance, <laughs> I can't talk. Last Wednesday, I got sick. I got a nasty, 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 nasty flu. I was out for like almost a week. There was a persistent fever that I just wouldn't leave me alone for three days straight, and I decided to go to the doctor and I got injected in my and it hurt I cried it really hurt but I'm good now and I hope you had a good weekend because well mine wasn't the best but I'm better now so thank god for that this episode now anyways moving forward to the video this is episode something of King Koi I have no idea I lost track because I got sick but we're here now we're alive we're well and without further ado let's get straight into this video oh if you've not seen the previous episode, even though you had a lot of time to do so, go ahead and watch it. You already know what to do. Anyways, now let's get started. More or less. Even during dinner, she ruled around and read manga and the like. I bet she wouldn't behave so poorly if Sylvia or otherwise were around. Then again, it was just us. Why not? Rio wasn't so refined. She looked down on her for it, either. Instead, she messed around with her phone without a care in the world. As for me, guess I'll listen to some music. Of course. Of course. It's boring to keep it low, but the TV is just noisy. Times like these called for a special song. It's not. Ah, uh, happy years. What the heck, Karina? You dislike Maria Bishop? Nice. If you put them on your phone, you can bring happiness to your ears anytime you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You finally realized how great Maria is? Alright, why don't we all treat ourselves up to an in-depth Maria discussion after this song? Like what songs we like, which photos she looks best in and stuff? Hold up, you're not going anyway. <laughs> Maria songs are magical and your brainwashing will be over in no time if you stick around. Nope. Listen to yourself, Bozo. I'm so tired of getting her in the very beginning of these episodes. Like, why? Why? What are we talking about? She's being held hostage. お願い。少しでいいから声を聞かせて。You're not getting away. You'll be hooked on Maria when we're done with you. What's that supposed to mean? Delinquent speak goes way over my head. 
ら戻るよ次の曲がいいんだからもう嫌ってほど聞いたんだよ次のも次の次も全部うん、You're obviously got it wrong, Reina The next song is great, but this song is best えー、次のの方がいいよ No, this is it I mean, all of Maria's songs are fantastic, though 最高だけど Man, I really love Maria's songs 私も Come on and join us, Ria. I'll explain why I think this song is fantastic in detail. God, they bug. Poor Ria. <laughs> Something always up her butt. Being up the boat all the time like that can't be healthy. Huh? You sound sleepy. Oh, yeah, you've got a point. And your face is red, too. You okay? You didn't catch a cold or something? I couldn't try to let out a massive yawn. Maybe something had happened? <clears throat> Maybe she can't sleep over the fact that she can't throw a shot put without hitting herself in the head? That was a shot put, right? I don't remember. Oh, right, right. Is that worth being sleepy for, though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Huh? What are you confessing to, dude? Jesus. She blushed bright red again. Sure. December 9th, Saturday. We were nearly in the final stages, stages, stages of the second term and the final weekend before winter break was upon us. For today. <sighs> Listen and be amazed. I'm planning to go buy cup noodles. The next will put off. Over winter break, especially over New Year's, the cafe and convenience stores in this dorm weren't in business. That was fine since 99% of the boarders returned to their family homes over the break. But, I'd sooner avoid going home until the very last second as they would force me to help clean the place from top to bottom. So, I would need some provisions in the meantime. And that's why I'm going to buy a cup noodles, it's so important. It's a pain unless I hot myself up for it. ところで、日本ではこの時期大掃除というものに取り掛かるそうですが、あなたはやりませんの？うん。あ、あ、troublesome topic all of the boarders who were returning home months when the break officially started had engaged in cleaning spree. They really were a diligent bunch, made me realize all over again that this was a dormitory for rich girls. Boop. Obviously, I was never going to be as diligent as they were. I'll clean when winter break starts. We're still only halfway into December. All said and done. So, it only looked this way due to Mina Chan's frequent whining. <clears throat> you think so? Oh, 
こういう些細な点にも気をかけるのが大人ですわよ。あ、uh, is it worth going to that much trouble? もう、私が持ってきましょうかしら。With that, I headed out to shop. Incidentally. 行きましょうか。よ、よ、I'd already made plans to hang out with Reina. Nice. I like this. Sorry to ask you to carry bags every single time. Nothing too expensive, alright? Sort of lich covered my cup noodle expenses, but it was a burden that her pay had to come out of my own wallet. Not that it felt bad though, actually. Going out on a walk alone with her on the day off already had me hyped up. Nothing really. Not that I could tell her. Ooh, why? Ugh. She's back. The thing. The monster. Guys, I think she's mad. ね、気分転換にみんなで大掃除するの手伝わない。今日は手の空いてる子でこのテラスをきれいにしようって話になってるな。ん？あ、冬休みが近いから。いいわね。やりましょうか。確かに気分を変えたいわ。汚らわしい
やっぱりいたそしてタバコを吸っていたわね匂いが漏れてるわああれおかしいな普段は表には出ないのに通風口を開いているのよおっなんじゃそりゃ反則だろ Against the rules. Hmm. 集団はどうでもいいのタバコはやめなさいと言ったはずでしょ私あなたのためを思ってねはいはいわーったやめたよほら火消してるだろまったくもうああうるせえガキの頃からほんと口うるさいんだよなこいつふらふら何か言った何でも Two spicy chicks together? Ooh. <clears throat> That always happens on Cup Noodle Day. Pring, pring. Hmm. My phone suddenly rang. Hello? I answered. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I can't right now. I'm out. Tomorrow? What a pain. Can't do it over the phone? Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Will buy the station work? You got it. I knew the c a s t as quickly as I could. See ya. Ah,、uh, why? I knew the car. Toria. Yeah, the Shimaku. We exchanged phone numbers last time we saw each other, so it was normal enough that he would call. Not that I expected he would. That was a surprise. He wanted to meet up and talk. Today's a no go, so we set it for tomorrow. Reyna was acting a little stilted. Was this going to worry her? It's alright. We've been friends for ages, so it's not a big deal just to meet up. Well, he is kind of a draining guy to talk to. I know this would consume some calories, but I'd be fine. Are you sure? I won't cry anymore. I'll be fine. Oh, yeah. That could be fun. But sure to wear a swimsuit or don't wear a skirt next time you let me borrow your lap. r e n a cackled. I could turn that shameful display from a week ago into a funny story at this point. I was fine now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we carry these heaps of cup noodles? Well, she tugged me by the hand. Oh boy, guess I join her. It was a friend's request. After all,、mm, a friend. Mm, just a friend. I, I don't know how much a yaka I could take. Also, the, 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 the music, I, 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 just, I mean, it's just a, a scent thing, right? Why is it a big deal? They're talking a little weird. I think they discovered marijuana. <laughs> She's truly tripping. <laughs> I would love to see Ayaka tripping. That'd be funny as heck. 
なんだ勝手に使ってごめんねいえ私こそ不用意に置いておいてごめんなさい早く空気抜きしないとえっとエアコンうーんうん何やってんだよ綾香まだ掃除中なんだからエアコンは切っときなあいや先輩これはその一番働いたあんたには言いたくないけどまだ頑張ってる子もいるんだからねあはいならえっと通風口を開いてファンだけ回せばよし全部こっちに流れてるわでもこの通風口外にはつながってないわよね<笑>こっちはリアな部屋なんだけどあっ全部この部屋に入っちゃいますね<笑>くさいわオートバルビートリップンバーズあいつとはいえ<咳>こっそり役付けにするのがさすがに気が遠がね。Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> I'll do it that yaka. No, I'm kidding. まあ、嫌なしもいないし、この部屋に引き受けてもらって、ここから窓でも開けておけば大丈夫でしょう。帰ってきたとき寒いでしょうけど、そこまでは私に関係ないわ。さて、まずは窓を。ふ、hmm. ん。It was reckless to go on that detour with all these bags in this cold weather. We ran around while carrying all these bags and worked up a sweat. Better go wash up. Sure. I said goodbye to Rain and headed in my room. Then I started tripping balls. Phew, even cup noodles are heavy when it's this many. <laughs> What was that noise? I'm home. Oh, but not like anyone was here. Why? Oh? The room almost smelled kind of sweet. Ah, Mina chan had mentioned something about air freshener earlier that morning. She's probably behind the sweet aroma. Kind of an unwelcome favor, I didn't really care for the smell of air fresheners. Then again, her kindness was nothing to complain about. Better just ignore it and get in the bath. You just believe everything you hear, huh? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Ah, <clears throat> oh, chilly. There was no point getting undressed here. Oh, well, time for a shower. <sighs> I couldn't prepare a bath, but the shower still felt wonderful against my sweaty body. Freaking moron. That was a great shower. Whew. Came back into the room. I got dressed. Okay. Why not unpack the cup noodles I bought? Hey. And Reyna showed up. No clue. An air freshener or something? Hey. 
買ってきたもの分けよコーンスープちょっと多めにもらうね Sure We unpack the bags together Oh my god, just calm out. Was he? Hmm? She about to start tripping? After we finished splitting up the ramen, Reina made herself at home and the two of us lounged around together. <sighs> oh, me too. I feel kind of strange. It was like I was sleepy or like my head was fuzzy. Strangely enough, my body was burning up and I wasn't all tired. <laughs> I was freezing and immediately took a hot shower. Heard wild variations in body temperature can make you sleepy? You said it. Nothing strange about it. <laughs> For real. Handed Reina a ramune, she laid around hazily on my bed like usual. As long as you're pleased. Imagine he's like, hey, you want one too? And he peeks at the closet. We continued our leisurely hangout. I've been cleaning off and on. I'll finish once winter break starts. <laughs> Cleaning is not part of your skill set, huh? It's Yeah, it is cold. I get that. Rain and I were birds of a feather. She suddenly let out a deep sigh. Sleepy? She rolled around on the bed and looked rather uncomfortable. Was it a cold or something? Obviously not, I suppose. Yeah? Yeah, but what's the matter? Nobody said anything and it was entirely optional. <laughs> Only about one fifth of the boarders volunteered, so I was sure nobody thought we were being rude. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah. This is just a guess, but I bet Yogasaki took the lead. Oh. Ah, boy, boy. I could totally see that happening. You can count on her to pull through in these situations. I wish we could get along to some degree. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jogasaki, she had way too harsh a personality. But her looks were out of this world. She was gorgeous, had a great figure, and I couldn't get enough of that hair. <laughs> Reina, who knew about my fetish for long, black hair, laughed. Ichimatsu-san is my favorite! My favorite! I love it! 
ねえねえオーロ想像してみてあやかっちが割烹着とか着て床を雑巾がけしてるとこああ、that'd be fantastic black hair and apron cleaning sexy as hell <笑>
you know what had gotten into a perilous perilous state in my pants i don't want to look at reyna that way but i guess she was still a girl and an exceptionally gorgeous one at that i was getting turned on i was just bricked up and then huh reyna was acting weird too she looked intoxicated and was uneasily rubbing her dice together hey yo must have been spicy? What do you mean? Was it not spicy? Did that... Cap... What was this? Cap... Is this supposed to be Caprice something? The juice? Did this? Yeah. I played it off. Both of us had probably noticed the weird mood we had going between us at this point. Oh. Nice. But we were friends. We were friends and didn't feel that way about each other. That was how it had to be. A... Or our relationship would fall apart in the future. We had to disregard this bizarre mood. Mm. Ah, yeah. I retrieved the bag of cup noodles I'd haphazardly tossed it aside. We had bought lots of stuff other than noodles, and I grabbed a bottle of water. Rainer gulped it down to make up for all she had sweated out. She was sweating enough that you'd think it were the middle of summer. Wasn't this clearly abnormal? Not that I had any idea why. Oh, what are you going to do with this? I purchased it for Reyna to thank her f for helping me carry today's bags. The thing Reyna had pestered me to buy was a type of cream. Hearing cleaner. What is this stuff? Huh. I had no clue. I opened it up. Seemed like the sorts of polishing cream that you could find anyway. There's no point limiting this, only the earrings, is there? Raw power? Reyna took off her earrings. Then, she smeared on the cream. Naturally, it shone brightly and the metal became more reflective. Basically, it became more radiant. Women sure are laptops for companies like these. She put back on the earrings. Well, it doesn't hurt, anyway. The earrings had gotten somewhat prettier, but... Hold up, Reyna. This one's not in quite right. Don't move. The earrings are at a weird angle. Probably slipped due to the cream and was at a skewed angle. Better fix it. I reached for it, careful not to hurt the hole in her ear. What'd you do? Did you come on her? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh. What's with you? Uh, oh. Oh! My heart skipped a beat. <laughs> Don't start making sexy noises out of nowhere. I was just so withered up that I wouldn't be put in an odd mood when the girl I liked started gasping. Settle down. Look, I'll fix it. I touched her ear again. Flip. <laughs> I repossessioned her earring. Then I pulled my hands away. I think she could do it herself. You didn't have to. Flop. Brenda collapsed almost as if all her strength had been zapped from her body. She was right in front of me, so I reached out to support her and pulled her into an embrace. Ah. Crap. I couldn't move. My body was practically on fire and I was starting to stow in my own sweat. To top it all off, Reyna's warmth felt incredible against me. However, Reyna was stiff as a board. Ah, speechless now, are we? Touch. <gasps> For whatever reason, Reyna gently brushed her finger against my earlobe. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, she continued to rub it slowly. Whoa, hey, yo, 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 what, what's going on? It tickled and sent shivers up my spine. Oh, we're talking about ears, by the way. What was her deal? Why would she do this in this situation? I'll give you a taste of your own medicine, darn it. Flip. <laughs> I pinched her ear a little harder this time and my finger grazed the outer rim. But Reyna wouldn't let my ear go. Uh. 
Nka, <laughs> what? Ayaka, this is a great time to leave. Right back at you. <laughs> Vulgar man. Can't believe she's been hanging around in there this entire time. She's so stupid. Is that his shirt? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, Akko, what's going on into you? Yaka, what are you doing? Jesus. <gasps> oh. You're doing the same thing to me. Can y'all stop playing with your ears? That's honestly a little weird. Oh, oh, he said. Wasn't this bad? Felt like I was losing all self-restraint. I knew this was bad, but my body wouldn't stop. Oh, and they don't know that there's a third person in the room, too. Rena was probably thinking the same thing. This was beyond anything friends would do. We should turn this into a joke, say, gotcha, and back off from each other immediately. I knew that, but they kept going. <laughs> Mine does too. Felt a sensation other than ticklishness coming from my ear. Consumed my entire body, which was practically glued to hers, and it showed no signs of stopping. It was a pleasure. That was how I felt, and I bet it was the same for Reyna. Felt wonderful being pressed up against her. Is she getting hard too? Jesus Christ. She's smelling your shirt too. <laughs> Why are you still smelling it? <laughs> I don't understand this woman. Everybody's just moaning in there, Jesus. Oh. We were both panting. It was out of our hands given how hot we'd gotten. Hmm. Yeah. Rena drank the two liters of water I'd given her earlier. She got a little overzealous and slash. Oh, what are you doing? She spilled and soaked our clothes, which were already sticky from sweat. Umph? I took a taste. I sucked on her water locked clothes. <laughs> what? The slightly salty moisture came back to me. Ah, oh, tasty. No, it's not. Can't be. Looks like I'm pretty parched, too. Why haven't y'all left the room? That's the real question. I don't understand. Raina turned the bottle my way. The cold water delighted my throat. <gasps> ah, an indirect kiss. I would just sweat on my mind a little. This was a little overdue, but I was doing something fairly embarrassing. Yeah, guess so. Sounded like she realized it too. Our sweltering skin, slick from sweat, stuck to one another. We were doing something far more dangerous than an indirect kiss. 
We were edging. For that matter, my stiff heart on had been pressed firmly against her. Oh! Jeez. As for Rainer, she'd been subtly pressing her biddies against me, and I could feel her soft mountains brushing against my chest and stomach. Look like we were in the same boat. So, is that it? <laughs> what I'm getting from all of this is that that essence makes them extremely horny for no reason. That's what I'm getting. Because even Ayako smelling his shirt and moaning in the closet, that, that's really weird. Man, this would be a good time to throw in the patch to see what goes on. You know, what if there's a trio and then Ayako's like, don't tell anybody or I'll kill you. You know, that'd be really, really, really interesting. <laughs> it looked like we were in the same boat. Her head was reeling and she couldn't stop anymore. Yeah, everybody's just mad horny for no reason. You're still smelling that? Oh my god. Monster. I told you to leave, you moron. <laughs> oh god. I'm telling you, moron. They're literally about a bone. You need to leave right now. How'd she get out? The closet suddenly opened. Oh, okay, huh? Jogasaki? That's embarrassing. Jogasaki popped out of the closet. Why the closet? I was suspicious but too giddy to think straight. Whatever the case, Jogasaki was there. Why is she crying? Huh? Jogasagi staggered her way out of to uh, Jogasagi staggered her way over to the air conditioner remote on the bed. She pressed the deodorize button. <laughs> Flop. With that, Jogasaki had been zapped off her energy and she sat on the bed. Rain and I just stared at her blankly. With the air conditioner running, the sweat smell in the room gradually grew weaker, but <laughs> More than that, I was worried about Jogosaki now that she'd flopped over and gone into a coughing fit. Sticky with sweat from head to toe. Oh, I get it. It made sense considering we've both been thirsty up until this point. She was on the verge of dehydration as well. Here, Jogosaki. Drink, slowly. I tilted a bottle of water for her. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> ah, but it was no use. She seemed tongue-tied and pouring in the water only led her going into a coughing fit. What should you do in this situation like this? If I recalled. Mk, mk? What? I took in a mouthful. That sounds like these. What are you doing, bro? Hmm. You gonna bird feed her? I pushed my mouth against her. Oh my god. Jogosaki's lips sure were soft. She felt soft from head to toe. Not that I knew if she wasn't special in that regard. If everyone was the same way. I opened her lips. Slink. And put my tongue inside. I sucked up on her numb tongue like so. I slowly poured the water in along our joined tongues. <laughs> Bro, he's like both of them. I'm taking both. That's wild. Right in front of Reyna too. Ah, oh, heck's nah. This is unforgivable. This is unforgivable. He didn't. He's doing this to that monster. I would have let her dehydrate. I'm just. I'm just different, man. I'm just different. I would have let her dehydrate. Or I would give her a bottle. Throw her out of my room and then continued with Reyna. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, really? This would work if we went a little at a time. At least she was drinking something. Ah. It was a total force of nature, but her tongue felt slippery and wonderful I joined to my own. Gave me shivers. Ah. Oh. Mm, noise? Mm, tch, noise? What? What does that mean? We had ended up smooshed against each other. My mind was spinning and my body reacted to the sudden stimulation. Namely. Was it the same for Jogasaki? She was sucking back. Our tongues rubbed smoothly together. Bro, just started making out with Jogasaki right in front of it. What is this episode, man? I I'm the lead. It was a sensation I never experienced before. Wow. Once I finished giving her water, our mouths separated. 
feeling of her licking the inside of my mouth made me space out. Um, what was I doing again? Oh, right, water. Can you drink? <laughs> she could probably drink on her own this time. I put the bottle up to her mouth. Jirasaki adeptly drink without coffee. Alright, now get her out of here. Push her out of here. Get her out of here. That's enough. That's huh? more than enough. Jesus. Ugh. But for some reason, she put her mouth against my... Hey, yo. Huh? Why? I wasn't sure, but I could tell her stinky tongue was incoming. There was no reason for me to reject something that felt so wonderful, and I walked them... Welcome did it inside. Dude, Reyna's just there like, what the fuck? Mm, slurp. Oh my god. Nah, man. I I'm convinced that if I put on the patch for this route, for all we know, they're gonna have a tree or something. Oh my god, this is wild. Our tongues grazed together. This is such a huge plot twist. And on Reyna's route, this is mad disrespectful. Why can't it happen on Akana's route, or on, S on Sylvia's route, or on freaking Ellie's route? Really? Reina? Jigasaki may have been confused and tried to return the water to me. I welcomed this rare opportunity, especially when I was parched and felt the refreshing liquid trickle down my throat all the while. I probably shouldn't drink it though. Hmm. What? I tried to give her more water by rubbing our tongues together and she obediently swallowed. And like so. At one point, is Reina gonna be like, hey yo, off my man? Look <laughs> she's just taking this. <laughs> she slipped it all down, including my saliva. Hey now. Well, I guess it was okay. So I fed her the thick mixture. Taken out of context, people are going to be so confused if I just clipped this. <laughs> she gulped it down absentmindedly. Her cheeks flushed a delighted shade of pink. Uh, but I was thirsty too, so... I'm not even going to try to make these noises. Ah, uh, Yaka. I sucked back on her tongue and prodded for her saliva. She must have known right away and rolled her tongue to treat me to an orb of her saliva. My first taste of another person's saliva was faintly sweet with a minty aroma. It should have been Reina, but okay. Oh. Alright, I'm skipping this. We had forgotten all about the water after that and, I, and let each other swallow the other saliva. Scrubbing together of our tongues promoted saliva production, causing loads more to gush out. I was just making out on a yaka, what? <laughs> oh my god. I let her swallow tons and swallowed back in return. I knew Reyna was watching blank faced behind us. Well, yeah, dude, you freaking... Are you stupid? It had taken a few minutes, but it was difficult to breathe. When we finally separated, Jogosaki flipped over to the bed, unable to remain upright. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Give her most of the water and the top of my tongue proceeded to tingle. Need to stay hydrated as well and gulp down a good portion on the bottom. I want I want to see what rain is at. What she's thinking. What she's gonna say. I pulled away and realized I'd consumed a third of it in a single sitting. Freaking bug, mosquito, whatever it is. Rain, are you on that too? Oh my god. Huh? Eh? I had no idea why, but Rain plastered her mouth against mine. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll accept this. I'll accept this. I'll gladly accept this. I'm just confused at Ayaka. Like, why? How? She slipped in. Then again, there was nothing to slip since I had already swallowed it. <laughs> Reina, what the? Oh, but you're questioning that. I hate you. I hate Ona. I'd be for him. She's not the jealous kind, it seems. Okay, great. Sure. Okay. I would do just that. Then I took some water into my mouth. Despite being lured in by the sweet aroma, the heat I'd felt since earlier had begun to dissipate little by little. Regardless, my brain still wasn't functioning from all the saliva sucking with Jogasaki. I didn't even notice how bizarre this behavior was. It's not bizarre, bro. It's like seriously, weirdly, crazily mental, like weird. I don't know. They need help. Um. Nice. Our lips met and I gave her the few remnants of water that lingered in my mouth. Reina meekly accepted and chugged it down. <laughs> she was sticking her tongue in as well, so... Oh my god, alright. <laughs> I wrapped my sticky tongue around hers in the same manner I had with Joasaki. This 
must have been all too sudden for Reyna as the intense stimulation caused her shoulders to twist and turn. Dang, like that? <laughs> I needed to be more gentle. After pulling apart for a moment, I went to take another drink of water. But the bottle was now empty. Two liters hadn't lasted long between three people, huh? Um, give the last mouthful of water to Reyna. How do you come back from this and say, we're just homies? Oh my god. Reyna had begun lapping at my tongue, just like Jogosaki had done. She too fell back under the bed beside Jogosaki. Oh, I'll bring some water. I grabbed a few of the water bottles that set out from the kitchen. When I turned, I found both Reina and Jogasaki sprawled out on the bed. Uh huh. Yeah, explain the next episode. I don't want to. You know what? No, let's see what she has to say. Our heads finally had a chance to cool. We were in pretty horrendous shape. This scene was completely horrendous, if I do say so myself. So we temporarily split up to take showers and change clothes. We couldn't exactly go without talking this through, so we met back up again around an hour later. Sure it was embarrassing to see them again. <laughs> Still, we had to talk. We were drugged? What were they drugged with that they were freaking sucking each other's tongues? <laughs> I'm bad ass Siri. Hey Siri, what drug makes you mad horny? Like just by smelling it. Ah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. More or less, for the three of us to tend to end up this way, it's pretty much impossible otherwise. This applied to Reina as well, but it wouldn't be easier on Jogosaki to assume she had become such an enthusiastic participant because of a drug. It is indeed quite sus. Competition? What kind of competition? <laughs> In my case, it's basically a perk. Yeah, pretty much. Whatever the reason, there weren't all that many men who could have engaged in a threesome with two beautiful women and then have their parent, partner, their partner, apologize to them. As far as I'm concerned, I'm actually more worried if you're alright. Reina, um... Hmm? She had suffered the most in this predicament. Reina held her abdomen. I came inside her in quite a lot. Wait, 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 wait! What do you mean? Huh? No, 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 I'm thinking wrong. I'm thinking wrong, right? <laughs> I came inside her in quite a lot. This was full... Oh... They did smash. Oh, oh my God. This was full blown baby making steps, essentially. Oh my God. So he did, he boned both of them. I I'm about to see what that patch is all about real quick. I'll be back. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. I will go to it eventually. I am curious what happened here, but I think he nailed both. Oh my God. We had a major problem on our hands. Not only the emotional aspect of it all, but... She'd been wrapped up in a potential pregnancy. Oh my god! <laughs> what?! Jogosaki was holding her butt. She and I had only done it anally, so it was true there shouldn't be any concern of pregnancy, but... <laughs> oh my god, Ayaka is crazy! 
<laughs> You're not hurt or anything. <laughs> you seem more experienced, but we were pretty rough. Oh my god. Uh, um, sorry. Jogosaki was angry. Although the guilt left her a bit meek, she still lashed at me. Oh well, this was more Jogosaki like. What is this episode? Oh my god. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was literally about to say too. Because I already knew what I was going to say. Well, before this freaking crazy scene happened. I was going to say this episode, nothing crazy. You know, it was chill. But no, I'd be lying if I said nothing crazy. He had a three-way. I am a little offended though. I am that... Although Ayaka's not like a nasty looking character or whatever, still, I am a little offended because I still don't like Ayaka. No, regardless, I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I still don't like Ayaka. She's always. like. But again, Jogosaki is not the most horrendous looking one, so I guess it's okay. But still, I was. I was not expecting that. That was wild. <laughs> I was completely thrown off by that. Like, seriously, what the heck? That's ridiculous. Seriously, like I'm, I'm out of a loss of words after that scene. And I'm about to go see what the patch is all about. I know it's about to go crazy. Anyways, I'm done talking though. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi. And if you did, please let me know by hitting that like. Subscribing if you haven't already done so. It really does help the self-esteem. Share this video, share this channel. Do whatever it takes. Let's hit a thousand subscribers, please. Let's make it happen. I know we can do it. Oh my god, Odo just railed both of them. And he's not even dating Reyna. Bro is a Chad. Bro is a Chad. He even hit the girl that swore she didn't like. Oh my god. <laughs> this episode is wild. Like seriously, what? How, does it get any crazier than this? I, I can't imagine it getting it crazier than this. Like that's crazy. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Y'all stay safe and as always. Until next time, guys. <laughs> He rolled both of them. <laughs>